here i will show how to clone the current project and add your changes so if you go to this link and here you will find the link clone it clone using https so i have just executed this command git clone so i got this folder created here iot global map so i am able to see this file so now i have to add my changes so you have to first uh, use this draw.io platform where you can draw your diagram so let's say flow flow let's say flow okay So here you can uh, make your overall diagram so that will be your first step and you can also update readme file so here you can just say let's say iot global map so first thing is iot device so i'm just giving an example iot global map so this is iot device and this will send the status to cloud if you come down you'll, you'll get the arrow just point it so iot device is sending data to cloud so also mention the protocol say mqtt or http so poc means uh, if you have studied about this project you will know how this flow occurs so when uh, iot device is installed somewhere it will run on some operating system you can also mention that that it's a raspberry pi device the rasp bn OS device and then from cloud user is fetching the details everything is there just you have to user app it's a user app so this is just for example so you just save it flow.png Okay. Now you have to add this here in the existing. So this already have some PNG, and uh, this PNG is shown here. Okay, you are able to see these images in this page itself. So if you open readme.md file and actually I am able to edit it from here so you will see how this PNG is and so you can just copy this code okay and then okay. And then if you open readme file here you can see so you have to first create a local branch without minus p my branch okay then get 
branch okay so it's on my branch it's not on master so you have to commit using my branch and download flow dot so it's in my current system So I am copying this to so this is my another machine where I am doing it so wherever you are downloading you can just add it to this folder so I will show you this so this flow.png you can copy it here wherever you are downloaded this is your new file now get status so flow.png is your new file now copy this code from here readme.md so you can copy this readme.md go to the end and add it and just change it to flow.png so get a status now i have two files okay. so i will add both flow.png okay. added uc diagram flow.png and then we push so changes are being pushed so let's I will come here okay, my branch and my branch is reflecting here and I'll go to pull request Hmm. So you can create a pull request. Please review and add my changes. So you can do it from your account. You review and add my changes. So you can come here and you will see your branch and then you can create a pull request then i will get one notification here pull requests okay i'll click it here Okay, I am in my account, so I have to log out and go to Vitty Minds account. Then only I'll. So I have just created from my account. So now I have to go to Vitty Minds account and then.
and then I am finding one pull request here. Merge pull request. So I will merge from here because I am in, right now in VT Minds account. So it is merged now. It is merged to the master branch. Now your changes should be reflecting. See, this is the PNG flow dot PNG which I have added, which is getting reflected here because I have updated the readme file. If you see the readme file now, you will find this code at the bottom, which I have added. See, flow dot PNG. So this should be your first step, and then also you can update readme file. You can add some step here like what are the installation step and you can commit in the same manner okay steps to execute you can also mention something like software component needed or dependencies and you can commit in the same manner get status so again you can do git add readme again you have to follow the commit minus m updated readme file so here you have to provide your own username password if it will prompt So you have to provide your own so now same thing will happen you have to go to your account and you have to create a pull request and then i will get the notification 